good morning good afternoon good evening from wherever you are watching us and whatever time you are watching us this is high palace media once again and uh, we told you earlier we'll be giving you updates on the general election processes on the Peki College of Education this year so today we have a sponsor and that is the Scott Media you can follow them on you can subscribe to their channel on YouTube Scott Media and other social media platforms they are Scott Media World I have some gentlemen in the house some gentlemen and a lady in the house today and before I tell you what we'll be talking about I would um, kindly allow them to introduce themselves starting from the gentleman directly to me Okay, I'm Prince Tete John Ubua. Um, you can simply call me the, the activist. Yeah. And I'm Gide Dogbe. Also, you can call me GDK. I'm um, I'm Ezbe Samo. You can call me Best Green. Okay, Best Green, the activist and the only queen in the house, GDK. Um, you are very much welcome and we are very yeah. glad to have you here. Today we'll be speaking generally on the picking of the forms, why the dates have been extended, and generally what the student body is talking about and is expecting in the upcoming election. So I'll start from the Queen of the House. Um, Judy K, you haven't really noticed or you haven't really observed any elections on Peki College of Education campus before. And if I'm right, this is the first election we are going to actually view very much well and see the details. So tell us, what are your expectations generally? Okay, thank you very much. Um, actually, we being level 100, it's true that this is our first time going to witness uh, uh, an election of this kind in the school. And then for our batch, I think our expectations are very great because we are looking up or we are looking forward to get or to see more vibrant qualified people who have the talents people who have the skills the necessary abilities to be able to pick up these positions to make this place a better place for us to live in so right now our expectations are we need people strong people who can defend who can stand there for us can be able to carry our grievances out and then help us to be able to live well on this campus and be successful. Yes, that's our expectation. And also we want them to put in more efforts to build up a great school like this. A nice place in Africa for us to live. Yeah, that's okay. all I can say. That's a beautiful expectation. But then I am curious. Is the expectation generally high because you believe this is a special institution compared to the secondary school cycle? Or the expectation is high because you believe the actual badge that is picking the forms now have very vibrant people? Oh, okay. As compared to uh, previous SHS, I would say over there, you know, sometimes they do it because they are just in for it but over here being a stepping stone for you to enter into a, a different world tomorrow it's something great that everyone would try to get into so for it being a tertiary level i think it's a very good opportunity for people who would like to venture into political uh, um, um, affairs maybe after school this is the best way to or a stepping stone for them to carry out their talents and potentials into the outside world. So for it being in a tertiary, I think uh, it's, it's great. And then also as compared to our previous SHSs, um, this place is going to be more vibrant because we have skilled people more than we think over there because everyone has developed, everyone has gained more experiences through life and stuff. So all those things also count in it. Okay. Thank you. She believes this is a more mature institution. Okay, best friend, before I get to you, um, to our viewers out there, if you think you want to support us in any way at all, you just comment in the comment section and we'll quickly get back to you. Best friend, do tell us you have witnessed an election before mm -hmm. and uh, surprisingly this year it is your thing. I mean your badge, they are the ones picking the forms. What are you expecting, given the fact that you know your people very well and you know what they can do? 
Okay. Mm, I can say I really know that this is my badge and we are the one to pick up the phones and be there to occupy those positions. We have people that are very qualified, that have the strength, the ability to step up and make a change and make things work for us. And we are expecting those people to pick up the phones. Some have already picked up the phones and we are expecting more people to pick up the phones before the deadline. We need people that are great people that we can choose for, from. For me, actually, I want the aspirant to even give us, we the student, a challenge for us to be confused on who to rather pick to do the work. Because I think we have people that can really step up and be there for us. You, do you believe we have people in their badge because you are part of the badge or you are just being like a fat? Mm. I can say this is a fact because I believe we have people and I know some people that can really do this job for us. I really know them. Though I might not mention their name here, but I really think they can do the work for us when the time comes. Okay, that's really beautiful. Um, the activists. You, I think you have uh, political experiences apart from the school and I would love to know what uh, do you see in an election and to name it a very good one? Yeah, um, thank you very much. Um, in an election, for an election to be a good one, we start from the, the, the day of picking nominations. And uh, this election for to, to per se, when you look at the way the nomination or people are picking the nomination forms and how people are willing to go for the positions, when you talk of the general secretary position, for instance, you see that you know, uh, I, I think I'm having in a room more like uh, we have three strong men over there for uh, so far, and you can see that this is going to be a challenging and a, a very competitive uh, election ever. So with my experience in politics or political background I'm having, I think uh, that so far we have the people and it's going to be a challenging one of course. So this is a, a competitive election. This is a competitive election. He hasn't even seen it before the D-Day. Okay, so I have one particular question that I would love the three of them to address for me. But before then, let's um, give a shout out to our producer and an editor. That is uh, Scott. His real name is in the background for now. And we have our cameraman in the house. We have on board our own on board, level 20. We have um, Abraham Frimpong, level 100 D. And we also have Sosa. The other name is in the background for now. So Sapphires, thank you. <laughs> okay, so the question I have is um, about gender equality. Do you think Peking College of Education is house we can actually have a female? And when I say a female, I mean a very strong one. And be accepted by the people as a person. I'll start from the female. Okay, thank you. Um, I would say generally from rumors that I've heard so far, they say that for the ladies in most elections that they try to be part of, their colleagues fail to give them the most supportive hand and then it make them flop out of the election. But this one actually, I think um, we the ladies, we need to stand and fight for our rights because we can also be leaders. Not always the men who would always be there to lead and to give us instructions. After all, we are also having some qualities that uh, can put us up there to be able to lead our people to the rightful place. So I think this time around, the ladies are not going to give way to the guys at all. They are fighting so hard to be able to make it at the top also. Regardless, regarding the agenda, yeah, they can do it. I believe in them and I know they are going to really win. Wow, yes. she believes in them. <laughs> That's really um, a very beautiful one from yeah. our queen in the house today. The activists. And other questions right? Yeah, um, when you talk of the ladies aspect, I, you know, I believe in women empowerment. You know, as an activist, I uh, normally do that um, as part of my work. You know, 
especially when I see ladies going into politics, I encourage them and I, I tell people that they should encourage ladies who are willing to go into politics. So I think we can have a female president in this school if and if only the females are willing to go for that position. Uh, as the previous as in the previous election the female felt it um, important to go for the position and uh, she had some votes but I think the people didn't believe in her that she can really lead. They think it is only men that can lead. Uh -huh. So I think we will be having a female president if we are able to educate the people or we are able to educate the students on how female can also lead. Since we are talking about gender um, equality, how female can also lead a, 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 a group of people so that they will be able to vote for a female as a president. So I think with that we can have a female as a president. But for now, I think the education is not yet there. Uh, we are not yet there. Uh, we are not yet at that level. Yeah. We are not yet there. Let's be. Okay, for me, yes, last year, the lady have put, placed down that legacy there that a lady can go for the president, the SRC president, and she left some mark there. Though the gap between the male contestant and the female one was very high, but some people voted for her. That was something to show that some people were interested for the female as a president. And I think that is a good one. If another one comes out to stand as the SRC president, I think more people will add up. And for me, I just want before let the female show us her capability. For we the guys, we need a lady to show us what her capability. We have to see the capability clear that when we put you as a lady there as the SRC president, you can speak for us and you can get us to where we want the school to get to. But if the lady didn't give us that, it will be very difficult for we, the guys, to also give the lady our support. So I think any lady that wants to come out to stand for the SRC president, we are encouraging you to come out good and show us that yes, prove to us that we really have the capability to lead the school as the SRC president. And surely we will give you our vote. I think that is what I have to say about that. You said and surely we'll give you a vote. So I think it's actually just about the performance. Um, we've spoken enough and uh, we don't have time of, on our side. We would love to continue this discussion for very long, but it's a matter of time. Um, you were speaking to us from the studios of High Palace Media. I would allow my guests to introduce themselves once again. Okay, I'm Ms. Gesamo of Best Brain. Jide Dogbe, JDK. These were the very beautiful and knowledgeable souls I had in the house with me today. And they have actually spoken and I learned a lot. Um, it's High Palace Media. Subscribe. Stay tuned. We are going to bring you updates on the upcoming elections. And then many more interesting subjects after the elections. Uh, we give shout out to all and Sandri will help in making this video a success this evening and then do subscribe and if you have any form of support for us just comment in the comment section and we'll quickly get back to you